what connects light, electricity, and vision together and is the primary reason when things go awry for colorblindness and visual impairments? Look no further than in our very own eyes and you might find this process. Phototransduction First documented by George Wald in his 1967 Nobel Prize paper, photos transduction is a cellular signaling process that transmits the light we see every day to electrical signals that our body can interpret. That way, we know when the day rains, shines, or turns to light or dark. If you are unfamiliar with cellular signaling pathway, think of it as the game Mousetrap, which starts with a stimulus, goes through several intermediate steps, and finally ends with the desired outcome, capturing your opponent. To demonstrate, phototransduction starts in the retina, in specific rod and cone cells. Rod cells can interpret dimmer colors in the dark, and cone cells can interpret the ROI GBIV colors in bright light. Today, we'll discuss rod cells. In these cells, light enters into a G protein coupled receptor called rhodopsin. Attached to rhodopsin is a molecule called transducin, a type of GDP molecule. When rhodopsin is activated by light, the grumpy and depressed GDP transducin is transformed into a new hyperembolistic GTP molecule. With this new energy, the GTP transducin is the slogically activated rhodopsin to attach to CGMP phosphodiesterase, or CGMP PDE. CGMP PDE is a special type of protein that can degrade the chemical CGMP, a second messenger, into the form GMP. Why might this be important? Salt! When rhodopsin is active in the dark, the high concentration of CGMP in the cells opens up sodium channels in the membrane. Sodium channels are responsible for coordinating responses from external stimuli to the nervous system. However, without CGMP, these sodium channels cannot open. As a result, too much sodium can fill up on one side of the cell membrane. What can the cell do? In this case, the cell can use potassium. Fortunately, the cell's sodium potassium pump will pump potassium to the other side of the cell membrane and form a barrage of sodium and potassium in the cytoplasm. This transfer of potassium leads to an action potential in the nerve cell, leading to a hyperpolarization. Under normal conditions, the neurotransmitter glutamate travels through cells to coordinate the visual response. But, the hyperpolarization leads to a decrease in glutamate which is a stimulant to switch off the rod cells to activate the cone-sensitive rainbow of colors. Through the simple stimulus of light, the domino effect of phototransduction can trigger a series of astounding transformations to convert light energy to a nerve cell hyperpolarization that can switch to use of rod or cone cells in the eye. Understanding this process could indicate the causes behind many diseases that directly affect the pathway, such as color blindness and peripheral vision disease. And to start, we just look at our very own eyes.